Hello friends, this video, Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables Part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 18. Let's take last example. Here we have to find the angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. And here we are told that ABC is cyclic correlated. For cyclic coordinate, we know that some of the opposite sides are 180. That is angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 and angle B plus angle D is equal to 180. Correct? So let's use this. Angle A plus angle C is nothing but 4Y plus 20 is angle A plus minus 4X. Minus 4X is equal to 180. That is my first equation. Second equation B plus D that is 3y minus 5 plus minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 180. These two equations I have got. Let me write in a better form. Minus 5 plus 5 cancel. This equation I have first equation I will get is 4x 4x minus 4y plus 160 is equal to 0. This is my equation number 1. I mean equation number 3 let me see. And this equation I'll say this will become 7x minus 3y plus 180 is equal to 0. This is my equation number 4. Now let me multiply this whole thing by 3. 3, right? And this by 4. Now if you do this, this becomes 12, this becomes 12, or in both cases, coefficient of y will become 12, then I can cancel the y part. So what I will get is 12x minus 12y plus 16 to 1, 16 to 3 is 480 is equal to 0. This I'll get 28x minus 12y plus 720 is equal to 0. We subtract this, I'll get what I'll get here 28 minus 12 is 16 x this cancel plus the 720 minus 480 becomes 240 is equal to 0. Correct? Or if I solve this, x is nothing but minus 240 by 16 and that is nothing but minus 15. That is the value of x. Now I can put the value of x in any equation to get the value of y. So I'll put it here 4 into x that is minus 15. Right? Minus 4y plus 160 is equal to 0 or I can say y is nothing but 160 minus 60 by 4 that is 100 by 4 that is 25. So I have the value of x and I have the value of y. But the question is I have to find the angles. So angle A is nothing but angle A is nothing but 4y plus 20 right that is nothing but y is 25 that is 4 into 25 plus 20 and that is 120. So this is 120, like 120 here. Now angle B is nothing but 3 by minus 5. That is 3 into Y is nothing but 25 minus 5. That is 75 minus 5, that is 70 degree. So this is 70 degree. Angle C is nothing but minus 4x that is minus 4 into minus 15 that is 60 so angle C is nothing but 60 degree that is 60 degree angle D is nothing but minus 7x plus 5 that is nothing but minus 7 into 15 plus minus 7 into minus 15 actually plus 5 that is nothing but Mine plus 105 plus 5 that is nothing but 120 degree so this is 120 degree so I've got all the angles 120 120 60 70 this is 110 I think sorry 110 105 plus 110 all the values we see 110 plus 70 180 120 plus 60 180 and that is my answer very simple we have just added these two angle A and angle C and made 180. B and D added made 180. Solved it, got the answer. Let's do a quick summary. 
two linear equations in same two variables are called pair of linear equations you see the variables are same x x y y and they are called linear pair of linear equation because this is one linear equation this is one linear equation and the total is called pair of linear equation where a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 are real number and a1 square plus b1 square is not equal to 0 and a2 square plus b2 square is not equal to 0 that means at a given point of time both a1 and b1 or both a2 and b2 can't be equal to 0 a pair of linear equation in two variables can be solved by graphical method and algebraic method in case of graphical method the lines are the lines of the equation are represented by two lines right if the lines meet at a point it is called consistent and you have one solution if the lines are overlapping that coincide then it has infinite solution it's called dependent if the lines are parallel they don't meet it has no solution and it's called inconsistent also for algebraic method we have discussed substitution method elimination method and cross multiplication method also if there are two pair of line a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 then if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then it has one solution consistent if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 then it is not that is inconsistent no solution if a1 by b2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then both the lines are same actually and they are dependent and coincident that means infinite solution in finite solution and there are several situations which can be mathematically represented by two equations which are not linear for example we have seen 3yx right 3 by x plus 4 4 by y is equal to 2 such equation is not linear but they can be converted into linear form by putting 1 by x equal to a and 1 by y is equal to b something of that sort and then we can solve them thank you Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.